Sharath from Center for Continuing Education uh, in IIC. Today we have Karthik who is a PhD student in ECE department. Uh, he is going to share about his experiences. Uh, so Karthik, how was it like uh, to be in IIC? What was your journey like? So uh, I did my bachelor's at uh, RV College of Engineering in Bangalore and subsequently uh, I did my final year project at uh, IASC. So this this was fun actually. So one of my friends uh, contacted me at RV College and she asked me if I am willing to join her for the project at IASC. Being a localite in Bangalore, I had absolutely no idea what IASC is. So I just blindly said yes, I will come to IASC. And uh, we did our final year project here. Subsequently, the professor with which I carried out the project offered me a position of project assistantship. Uh, so that th then came a point where I had to choose between a job I had in hand that would pay about 54,000 per month versus this project assistantship position. Uh, I chose the project assistantship position because I was keen on preparing for gate exam at that time. Uh, I did not know that that would define the six future years of my life. So that's how I ended up at IASC and uh, after the project assistantship term, I got a good rank in gate exam and subsequently I joined for the PhD program. Okay, so how was the life of a researcher looks like? How is it? So uh, it's very different from what we are used to. So on a day-to-day -day basis, there is learning on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. So you get up, you cycle to the lab, uh, you, you go through a lot of research papers, you try to study them in depth, you ask yourself what is it that these people have done and how can I do something which is very different from all of this in my own way. How can I create a path for myself that nobody else has done before and that's what true research means. It's about asking good questions on a day to day basis. We keep thinking about problems most of the time. and. Uh, uh, we, 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 we tend to think about problems in ways people have not thought about before. So you have the power to create something new which could define the lives of people. So uh, you read up papers, you understand what people have done, you try to come up with something new, a new idea which nobody else has thought about before and see if that can actually be solved and if it can be of some utility to the public as well. Uh, there are lows during PhD. Not every day is uh, a day of complete learning. There are a lot of lows and that's when uh, you know friends are very helpful. You have lab mates to talk to and you have your supervisor to discuss with. So all in all, it's a bag of talking to people, networking, coming up with new ideas, validating those ideas with other people. So that's how life of a researcher is like. Thank you so much for sharing that experience. Can you talk about one of the defining moments in your PhD life? So uh, usually what happens is that in my case, for example, the research problem that I was working on was given to me by my advisor. So I never owned the research problem that I was given in the initial days of my PhD. But there came a point where I attended one of, uh, I attended a workshop I remember this was at ISI Kolkata. Somebody came and asked me what you are what are you working on and how can you tell this to me in a way that your advisor has not told me. Apparently my advisor had already spoken to that person before about my research problem and this person who was talking to me expected me to tell him something new that my advisor has not told him. So this was a defining moment because it actually meant that I should take ownership of this problem. It's not my advisor's problem anymore, it is my research problem. And just taking ownership of the problem meant that I could, uh, you know, open up so many possibilities for myself. I could think of the same problem in so many creative ways, all of which would be appreciated by people. So I, I, I started taking ownership of the problem that I was working on and uh, I took full interest in the problem. So that actually changed the game for me. Subsequently, I traveled to many international conferences and I presented my works there and people were so happy listening to me and they told me that I have done very good work, my ideas are great. So when people appreciate your work more, 
there is more ownership that you take about the problem and there are more ways you think about extending the problem to many more future directions. So I think taking ownership of the problem from what I thought of as my advisor's problem to what I then thought of as this is my research problem. I need to be serious about this. I need to think about this carefully. I think that was a defining moment. Okay, it's very nice to hear about that. And how do you think that actually shaped your career as a researcher? So as I said, uh, it was at that time that I could come up with new ideas to solve the problem. When I, when I got stuck at some point, Earlier, when I thought of it as my advisor's problem, I would simply wait for inputs from my advisor. I would not make progress on my own feet. But when I took ownership of the problem, when I felt that this problem is mine, I need to solve this problem in a different way, in, in ways that nobody else has solved it before. That's when I used to go and talk to people about uh, the things that I am stuck on and the things that I need to read up further in order to further my own understanding of the problem. So that's when my interactions with people got better and I could travel to conferences. Thankfully, IAC funds such travels. So I could travel to conferences, present my works, take the inputs of experts in this field, listen to what these experts have to say about my problem. So I took complete interest in the problem and that changed the whole path for me. Uh, now, now, if you ask me about my problem, if you ask me what what are the ways in which this problem is applicable, what are what are the utilities of this problem, I think I'm in a much 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 better position to answer these questions with confidence. I think that is what is important. One needs to be able to answer these questions with confidence. So I think it has truly built that confidence in me that I can actually take up anything that is difficult and with perseverance come up with a solution for it. It's very nice to hear that as well. So what would be one piece of advice that you would want to give to the students who are planning to do research in IAC? So uh, research means perseverance. I think I'll put it that way. There will be so many phases in research. There will be highs, there will be lows. But it's extremely important to persevere through all the tough times. There are people who are going through that phase, you are not the only one who is going through that. So reach out to people, talk, talk to people about the problems you are facing in your research because you are at one point of time, at some point in your career, you are alone. There is nobody who has walked that path except you. You are the only person in this world who is walking that path. So obviously there is loneliness, but that is that loneliness is something that is to be cherished. Because it's a matter of pride that you're the only person thinking about that problem or that idea. So reach out to people, talk to people about your idea, validate your ideas with other people. There are always people who are ready to help you. IAC has such a nice peer group and the environment here is so, com so uh, you know, uh, ambient and conducive for discussions and uh, uh, openness in terms of putting out ideas and validating others' ideas. So uh, I'd say perseverance is key. Uh, don't come in as uh, somebody who is wanting to get just a good job. IAC will prepare you for something much more than that. You will get a good job. You will also be an excellent person when it comes to research. IAC is producing quality researchers who can get paid well. So just don't come in with the hope of getting paid well. You will become much more than that. That's what I'll say. Thank you so much, Karthik, for sharing your experience. I hope this would inspire a lot of people out there to pursue the career in research. Thank you so much.